G'day guys, and welcome back to Disney's Star Wars Continuity. That is one big pile of shit. I hope you all enjoyed Episode 1, The Spy, General Hux. And welcome to Episode 2, Extremely Deadly to Snoke. Let's get straight into it, shall we? In The Force Awakens, they try to give Extremely Deadly to Snoke the same dynamic as Emperor Palpatine. But instead of wanting to find and destroy the Rebels, he wants to find and destroy Luke Skywalker. He is the Master, and controls this new Empire called the First Order. He treats Kylo and Hux with respect, but does it from a position of authority. When he finds out that Rey was able to resist Kylo, he doesn't berate him. He just says, Bring. And by the end of the movie, extremely deadly to Snoke is telling Hux to bring Kylo to him to complete his training. With respect. And we, the audience, are left thinking, who is this guy? He's a pretty strong and powerful character. Is he Plagueis? Is he Vader? Who is he? Now, the very next day, or should I say the very next movie, Extremely Deadly to Snoke no longer has respect for Hux. Ah, good. Supremely- ah! Or Kylo. You were unbalanced. Bested by a girl who had never held a lightsaber. You failed! May I point out again that this is literally a day later, at most. Was this supposed to subvert my expectations? Fuck off, Ryan Johnson. So what do we learn about extremely deadly to Snoke in The Last Jedi? He now hates Hux and Kylo, and he no longer cares about finding Luke Skywalker. He just wants Rey to turn her or kill her. Who the fuck knows at this point? We also find out that he's very powerful in the Force. He is the one powerful enough to create a dyad between Rey and Kylo. What the fuck is this shit? What happened to completing Kylo's training and finding Luke Skywalker? By the end of this movie, Extremely Deadly to Snoke is extremely fucking dead by Kylo's hand and Kylo takes over as extremely stupid leader Kylo Ren. The end. Oh shit, that's right, there's a whole nother fucking movie. There's really only one thing we learn about extremely deadly to Snoke in The Rise of Palpatine. That he was a puppet. A clone created by Palpatine for some unknown reason. But this revelation opens up a massive can of worms. I have questions! Why did Palpatine create Snoke? What was his purpose? Is he a Sith? Who was the host for the clone? Must have been pretty powerful in the Force. How often was he in contact with Palpatine? And if Snoke was the one that created the Dyad, why is Palpatine so surprised to find out about it? How did Snoke leave Exegol when these ships can't even find up? Why did Palpatine send Snoke out to create the First Order and destroy the New Republic or the Resistance or whatever the fuck it is when he had an entire galaxy destroying fleet? My brain hurts, and I still have more questions. But honestly, at the end of the day, you have to ask, what was Palpatine's plan? For a man who was able to manipulate the Senate, destroy the Jedi, and rule an empire, to creating Snoke to rule his empire, whilst being in control of the biggest fleet the galaxy has ever seen, and announcing his return to Zed Galaxy, Somehow Palpatine returned. Only to tell them that he's going to attack in the next 16 hours. In 16 hours, attacks on all three worlds begin. It's fucking ridiculous. The Palpatine I know would just do it. Do it. Not to mention, how did Palpatine survive this? And this... The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. Isn't a fucking answer! Extremely Deadly to Snoke is another example of how these people didn't have a story and don't understand Star Wars. 
This is another character that started off reasonably strong and fell flat on its face. Again, if anyone can answer any of these questions with some substance, I'd be very fucking impressed. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I cannot be betrayed.